Hey guys, are you ready to discover the beauty brand that's not just surviving, but it's thriving in a market that's dominated by giants? And it might just be the hidden gem. My portfolio needs more of, and that is Elf Beauty, guys. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm adding more Elf Beauty stock to my portfolio. If you're a subscriber of the channel, you know I already made a video about Elf back in March. Coming back for some seconds today. So let me tell you just a little bit about it. Elf Beauty offers a way to add diversification if you already own a lot of large tech stocks. I'm a tech guy, I like to invest in tech companies, but I also like to diversify from time to time and Elf Beauty represents my diversification into the beauty industry. So um, it's definitely a company that's worth looking at if you're interested in the beauty industry. Let's look at an overview real quick for the company ELF. ELF stands for Eyes, Lips, Face. And they make and sell cosmetics or makeup and skincare products. And they sell products both in the United States and internationally. You can buy their products through online stores or physical stores like Ultra Beauty and Walmart. Big partner, more on that in a minute. They have several brands, uh, Elf Cosmetics, where you can buy affordable, high quality makeup, Elf Skin, skincare products that are approved by dermatologists, Naturium, which is skincare products that are made from natural ingredients, Well People, products that combine skincare and makeup, Key Soul Care, which are products that were created with singer Alicia Keys, now guys, they do have a lot of competitors. All right, we'll say that right off the bat. They compete with big names like L'Oreal, uh, Estee Lauder, uh, Unilever, Procter & Gamble. They also compete with a lot of small creative brands. But when we talk about their current financial performance, they're a fantastic company. 85% of their revenue in 2023 came from the United States, 15% internationally. But here's their strategic focus, guys. This is the main thing, this is so important. They are, in two words, affordable beauty. Their average product price is only $6 compared to, which is way cheaper, compared to the competitors. And they're innovative in the beauty industry. They're recognized as one of the most innovative companies in 2023. You gotta realize that just because they're not a tech company doesn't mean that they don't know how to innovate and they're focused on quickly bringing new affordable products to market. Now, when it comes to brand awareness, these guys are killer. They're connecting with customers through social media and digital channels, and their employee satisfaction rate is through the roof with a high employee engagement. They're named one of the best companies to work for in 2023-2024. And part of the secret sauce that makes Elf Beauty Elf Beauty is that they're, par they're partnering with other companies. Their collaboration with companies like Walmart. Okay, this one's crazy. They're partnering with uh, Roblox. Roblox, a, a virtual video game world. And when they're, by expanding into the Roblox virtual world, they have virtual kiosks in the game that offer products like Elf Up, uh, pet hoodies, sunscreen, lip balm. And when customers buy these products, they receive digital versions of the products in the game, which is absolutely insane to me. But yeah, they're selling digitally in a, in a game. So if there's anything metaverse about this, like that's absolutely insane. Anyway, um, very resilient in the market, you guys. Their revenue growth is through the roof. 77% increase in revenue compared to previous the previous year. That's Q1, Q1 2024. They're gaining more market share both in cosmetics and in skincare. 115% growth in international sales. Blows my mind, mainly in Canada and the UK. And one thing that makes Elf Beauty such a great company is that uh, economic stability doesn't matter what the economy is doing this company is going to be stable because people buy makeup and skincare products even in tough economic times in fact 
affordable, high quality products might attract new customers during a downturn. So if the economy were to take a downward slope, it's not going to hurt Elf Beauty that much because of their value proposition. Now, there are a few risks, always risks. Number one is their dependence on major retailers. They rely on Target, Walmart, Ultra Beauty for 58% of their revenue, those three stores. And these retailers aren't required to keep selling Elf products. Now, I think they will, but they're not required to. Number two risk factor is geography. Pro these products are made in China and uh, by, by third-party companies. They rely on one country for manufacturing, which could be risky during global events. All right, number three is AI integration. They are pushing AI integration in their company and the, risk uh, the risks that are involved with using AI artificial intelligence includes potential errors in, in the system in uh, all the evolving regulations that are going around AI right now. But you know what? Competitors are also using AI. And so I think that this is actually going to give them a, an, an advantage over competitors. So who is this stock for, guys? Well, if you're looking to start or add a new position at Elf Beauty, that's, that's great. That's for you. The, if you're looking to invest in a consumer-focused company like beauty products this is a great buy long-term investors guys all of my socks are for long-term investors I'm not gonna buy this and sell it in a few months all right unless something massive happens um, I'm gonna sell it I'm, I'm buying it for the long term and you know if you're looking for a large company very large company this one may not actually be for you I generally buy pretty big companies Elf is one of the smaller ones for me. Their market cap is about $10 billion right now. So if you're looking for like ultra large companies, this one might not be for you. And then if you avoid companies that give stock as part of their employee compensation, because Elf does. So just wanted to, to let you know. And investors who already have a large investment in Elf Beauty may want to steer clear. I would say, you know, diversification rules. You probably don't want more than 5% of your portfolio in one company. Um, I certainly don't do that myself. But anyway. All right, guys. That is Elf Beauty. I'm going to make more videos very, very soon, guys. You want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the future videos that are coming out on this channel. More stocks that I buy as well as other videos on just stocks that I'm looking at. Hey, uh, leave me a like. It really helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about Elf Beauty. And I will catch y'all guys in the next video. Y'all take it easy. Peace.